Hi, welcome to everyone for the lecture 10 of subject of module earthquake load analysis of a subject wind and seismic analysis. In this module, I have already discussed about the what are the methods of analyzing a structure when it is subjected to earthquake and in which we have studied about one method which is equivalent earthquake equivalent lateral uh, equivalent static load method so the steps have been already discussed and in this lecture i have been talking about the how the analysis of building is to be done by using equivalent static load methods so in which i have taken a problem this is the problem so Consider a four story reinforced concrete office building which is shown in figure 1.1 as here this is the plan floor plan and this is the elevation of the building on duration. So as shown in figure 1.1 the building is located in Shilong which is in seismic zone 5 and the soil conditions are medium steep and the entire building is supposed to uh, supported on a rough foundation. The RC frames are infilled with brick mats and please note down this line that the building type is RC frame building and which is infilled wall RC frame building. The lumped weight due to dead load is given as 12 km per meter square on the floors and 10 km per meter square on the roofs and floors are catered for a live load of 4 km per meter square and roofs are catered 1.5 km per meter square live load. Determine its uh, design seismic load on the structure as per the codal provision 1893-2002. So this uh, problem was adapted from the SK Gen book. So uh, how to analyze such type of building? This is the uh, this is the plan dimensions of the uh, office building and this is the elevation of the building. So it's uh, uh, five meter each span so here are the four spans it means 20 meter in the x direction and 15 meter in the y direction uh, 5 meter 3 spans it means 15 meter in this y directions and in the elevation if you see in the elevation this is the front view of the office building so the height of first story is 4.2 meter and rest to three stories are 3.2 meter each <coughs> so as I earlier mentioned the steps of uh, how to analyze the building <coughs> by using equivalent static load method so in which the first step is the, to determine the horizontal seismic coefficient which is given as ZISA -I over 2RG so to calculate this horizontal seismic coefficient we need to find out that uh, Z the value of Z which is general factor the value of I which is importance factor and the value of R which is a response reduction factor and SA by G obviously. So the value of Z is given in table number 2 because the building is mentioned in a seismic zone 5 and the zone factor Z value is given in table number 2 is 0.36 and which is also mentioned in the code is at here at page table number 2. So In the code at here in table number 2 at page number 16 it will mention at the value of z for zone 5 is 0.36 so the value is taken from here z value is taken from here and the building each a uh, office building so the gathering of persons are very much less in compared to the hospital or any other popular building so for such type of building the value of I importance factor is taken from IS1893 table number 6. So in table number 6 it is mentioned at here if the important service and community buildings are not uh, not mentioned in the question then office buildings are considered as uh, all other type of building and for that the importance factor value I will be taken as 1.0. So the value of I is taken as 1.0 and as the building mentioned in seismic zone 5 and this is a high earthquake intensity zone so the building is provided with 
RC resistant frame moment RC moment resisting frame so the frame is special moment resisting type of frame and the value of R will be taken from table number 7 which is at here so if the frame is special RC moment resisting frame so the for that the value of R is taken as 5.0 so in this question the value of R is taken as 5 so the value of Z is find, finding out 0.36 I will be finding out 1.0 R is 5 the value of S A Y G will be determined on the basis of fundamental natural period and the condition soil conditions so fundamental natural period for this condition is finding out by 0.09 h by under root of d in the direction of s if uh, we are calculating in the direction of x then in the direction of 0.09 and, and h is the total height of the building so in which the total height of the building is 4.2 plus 3.2 plus 3.2 plus 3.2 which is 13.8 and the d dimension of plan in the x direction which is 20 meter so here it is written as 20 meter so 0.09 h and divided by under root of d and which is calculating as 0.2 at second so for 0.2 at second in the code the value of sa by g in the x direction and here it is considering the damping is 5 percent so for medium soil condition and the value of t is lies between 0.10 to 0.25 because the value of t is 0.28 so for that condition sa by g value will be taken as 2.50 so from here the value of sa by g is taken as 2.50 so in the question so the building is located in type 2 medium soil and from figure 2 i is 1893 t equal to 0.28 seconds so sa by g value will be taken as 2.50 and from here the all the coefficients are known so the value of ah is finding out and it is calculating h.09 here yeah. okay this is the fundamental natural period in a x direction if we are calculating fundamental natural period in a y direction then fundamental natural period in a y direction 0.09 h by under root of d then in the place of 20 meter the direct uh, the depth of uh, building in plan in a y direction is 15 meter so 0.09 h is as similar as in x direction and d is the dimension of floor plan in a y direction which is 15 meters so from here t is getting as 0.32 again the t is like between 0.1 and 0.55 so the value of sa by g h from here h medium soil side and t is like between 0.10 and 0.55 so sa by g will be value will be taken as 2.5 so sa by g value will be similar for both the cases so the value of ah will not be changed and ah is also 0 0.09 in x direction and also in y directions now the second step is design by shear for finding out design by shear we need ah into w vb is given by ah into w so ah already finding out and w is the total seismic weight of the building total seismic weight of the building is equal to dead load fully dead load of the building plus uh, appropriate amount of imposed load so here it is given here in the question is given as the dead load lumped on a floor is given as 12 km per meter square and on the roof is 10 km per meter square and also the live load of floor is catered 4 km per meter square and roof is catering 1.5 km per meter square so from that there we can calculate the total of total seismic weight of the building so the each floor area is 300 square meter 15 by 20 meter is one floor area so each floor area is 300 square meter and since the live load is 4 km per meter square and I have suggested that I have already mentioned or IS 1893 is also, is also mentioned that when the live load on a floor is greater than 3 km per meter square then it is taken as 50 percent of that live load so it will be taken as 2 km per meter square and no live load will be taken from the roof so on the floor it's a four story building so floor number one two and three the weight to total dead weight plus live load will be equal to 300 is the area and 12 km per meter square is the dead load plus 50 percent of live load which is two so total load 
on each floor is 14 kilometer per meter square and which is multiplied by 300 so it is calculating as 14 4200 kilonewton on each floor and on the roof the dead load is given as 10 kilometer per meter square so that to the total dead weight of the bit of the roof is 3000 kilonewton and total seismic weight of the building structure is three the three floors plus one roof so it will be finding out as 1500 15600 kilonewton so total dead seismic weight of the building is 15600 kilonewton so we can put it here BB will be finding out is 1440 kilonewton now the step number three is this design by share each distributing amongst the along the length of the building and it is mentioned at here yeah this is mentioned it here this particular this uh, by share is to be distributed among the floor levels and which is given by qi equal to vb into wi hi square from divided by summation of wi hi square so we can prepare a table like that in which the first column it is mentioned at story level so we are starting from the base 1 2 3 and 4 story building then the weight of the each floor level so on the top fourth fourth floor level it is a roof so total weight of the floor uh, roof is 3000 kN then 1400 1400 1400 each floor level then height of the building from the base so from the base first story height is 4.2 then second is uh, 4.2 plus uh, 3.2 4.2 plus 3.2 it's 7.4 then 7.4 plus 3.2 is uh, 10.6 plus 3.2 is 13.8 so top uh, roof height is 13.8 then uh, this is the cumulative, cumulative heights of the each floor and then wi hi square so wi into hi square which is multiplied at the and the value will be find out at here and the summation of these all the values are finding out at here which is summation of wi hi square then these individual value will be divided by 1347.3 and the find out in and the and after that these values are find out which is wi hi square divided by summation of wi hi square and qi is given by at this by this formula vb into wi hi square upon summation of wi hi square so the in this column the value of wi hi square upon summation of wi hi square will be finding out and this will be distributed amongst the height of the building or amongst the floor so it will be multiplied by vb which is designed by shear and vb value we already have found out that 1440 kN so the 0.424 is multiplied by 1440 which is 611 0 0.350 multiplied by 1440 which is 504 1440 which is 246 and then 0 0.055 which is 1440 which is 79 and this the summation of these all is 1 it is here 1000 not it is here not a 1000 it's a 1 point triple zero so this total base design base here 1440 will be distributed amongst the each floor level and this is like this in the x direction also in the y direction because the value of design by shear is same in the x direction and in the y direction as the value of ah is same in both the direction so <coughs> this can be mentioned at here in the diagram that the, on the first floor it is 0 0.79 then 246 then 504 and then 6 double one so this is the way of analyzing a building structure using a equivalent static load method now thank you